from the Memphis Mid-South Coliseum. Right down here at the, the Mid-South Coliseum before a capacity crowd witnessing the parade of champions capped off by this finale, the NWA Southern Heavyweight Championship title match with Bob Armstrong with his back to you in the white challenging against 270 pound Tamiljan from Mongolia the holder of the NWA Southern Heavyweight title this is the opening minute of action your referee is Bill Mack into the ropes ooh and 270 meets 236 and look at Armstrong Classic example of strength and speed is Bob Armstrong. He leapfrogged over Tamiljan's head, came right back immediately and caught him with the upper arm and put him down and out of that ring. He was just ready to flatten him with another elbow when Tamiljan rolled out of the ring and onto the floor to safety. Bob held up his effort and he was fortunate in the fact that he did not take the blunt of hitting that close to the ring apron where there is very little give in the ring. Tamiljan with about a 34 pound weight advantage over Armstrong but Armstrong with that superior speed he, as the Mongolian stomper is, in tremendous condition. Both of these guys are some kind of athletes. Referee Bill Mack down to check to be certain that the hold is legal and it has every appearances of being a classic side headlock. Armstrong, who has some set of arms himself, as does the champion, the stomper, has him really viced into that side headlock. The crowd primed and ready for this championship match. Oh the stomper beginning to thrash now as the consistent pressure from Armstrong starts to get to him. This is a hole that won't get you many submissions, but it'll weaken a man to the point where you're able to go for a submission hole. Hamilton now slams him with those big arms, but Armstrong holds on. The stomper takes a breather and his arm drops limply. Armstrong just puts the pressure on all the more. Bob Armstrong, who in one previous encounter with a stomper has shown absolutely no fear of the tremendous size of this Mongolian champion. Armstrong, as we have said before, in as much several times as said of the stomper, let him take his best shot, I'll take mine, and we'll see who the best man is. Armstrong, into the rope, takes a big foot to the midsection. comes the stomper. Armstrong turned around. Was all set to blast him again with the elbow when the Mongolian stomper chose the getaway on the floor. He got it. Bob Armstrong the stomper with a right 
A series of lifts and rights. A chop. Hammers in. Thrown into the rope. Down goes the stomper. Bob Armstrong hurtling across the ring. Piles into referee Bill Mack. As the stomper comes off the deck. Down goes the stomper. Armstrong throttles him with that upper elbow. Referee Bill Mack, stunned. Counts one, two, three, he got it! A major upset has just been witnessed as Bob Armstrong from behind right now by the Mongolian stomper who pulled his boot off. Armstrong had had his hand raised or he was going over to get the belt. There is a confusion. No way the crowd hollers. Referee Bill Mack who was hit twice the belt to the stomper. Here comes promoter Nick Gulas. Promoter Nick Gulas in. And Bob Armstrong is furious. He knocks the stomper down. The belt flies out of his hand and promoter Nick Gulas picks it up. Mongolian stomper was pinned in the center of the ring. I think the films will show the stomper over there in a threatening gesture toward Nick Goulas. Once again, the referee holds up the stomper's hand. He is addled by having been hit very hard by Armstrong once and then again in a collision from behind. Bob Armstrong. Is still ready apparently. Take on the stomper. The belt pulled away from the stomper. Bob Armstrong does not retain possession of it. It will be held up. And this will be one of those matters that the National Wrestling Alliance is going to have to settle. The stomper arguing furiously that the bell that he is so proud of does not belong to him at this moment. Bob Armstrong very disappointed as he had the belt in his possession at least from the standpoint of having received a three count. And so with the stomper being forced back to the dressing room <laughs> 